Welcome back to our channel, today we gonna have a look at zebrafish. Zebrafish, Danio ririo, a small freshwater fish that are commonly used as model organisms in scientific research. They are native to South Asia, specifically the Ganges region in India, but are now widely distributed around the world as aquarium fish. Zebrafish are known for their unique and striking blue and silver stripe pattern, which makes them a popular choice for home aquariums. They are also relatively easy to care for and breed quickly, which has made them a valuable tool for scientific research. In the laboratory, zebrafish are used to study a wide range of biological processes, including embryonic development, organ formation, and disease modeling. Their transparent embryos and larvae allow researchers to study these processes in real time using advanced imaging techniques. Zebrafish have also been used extensively in genetics research. Their small size, short generation time, and ease of genetic manipulation have made them an important model for studying the genetic basis of disease and the development of new therapies. Overall, zebrafish are a fascinating and important research model that has helped scientists make significant discoveries in many areas of biology and medicine. Zebrafish have a lifespan of about two to three years in captivity, and they reach sexual maturity at around three months of age. The male zebrafish produce sperm continuously throughout their adult life and can mate with females multiple times per day. The sperm of zebrafish is similar to other fish species, consisting of a head and a tail. The head contains the nucleus, which contains the genetic material, DNA, that will be passed on to the offspring. The tail is responsible for propelling the sperm toward the female's eggs during fertilization. During mating, the male zebrafish releases sperm into the water, which the female then releases her eggs into. The sperm then swim toward the eggs, and once they reach the eggs, fertilization occurs. Zebrafish are external fertilizers, meaning that fertilization occurs outside of the female's body. Zebrafish have a high reproductive rate, with females capable of producing hundreds of eggs per week. This, combined with their short generation time and ease of genetic manipulation, has made them a valuable model organism for studying reproductive biology and genetics. When setting up a tank for zebra fish, there are several important factors to consider. Tank size, zebra fish are active swimmers and need plenty of space to swim around. A tank size of at least 10 gallons, 38 liters, is recommended for a small group of zebra fish. Water quality, zebrafish are sensitive to water quality, so it's important to maintain a clean and stable environment. The ideal water temperature for zebra fish is between 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 to 28 degrees Celsius, and the pH should be kept between 6.5 to 8.0. A good filtration system is also essential for maintaining water quality. Lighting, Zebrafish need a regular day-night cycle, so a light source that can be turned on and off on a schedule is recommended. A light cycle of 12 hours on and 12 hours off is a good starting point. Substrate and decor. Zebrafish prefer a substrate of fine sand or gravel, and plenty of hiding places such as plants, rocks, and caves. Live plants are also beneficial for maintaining water quality and providing a natural environment for fish. Tank mates. Zebrafish are social fish and do best when kept in groups of at least six to eight individuals. They can also be kept with other peaceful fish species that share similar water and temperature requirements. Overall, a well-planted tank with a good filtration system, regular water changes, and plenty of hiding places are ideal for zebra fish. That's all for the day. Please comment and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.